Hello friends, how are you today? We are going to make a tutorial on AA Panel. AA Panel is a very light control panel, very user friendly, anyone can use it. In today's video, I will try to show you how to use it step by step, a local or your own. How to install it in Proxmox Virtual Machine. On a local hosting PC, the main reason to use it is it's free and single. It is very effective for any website. It's alternative, but there are many more control panels like cPanel, Plex, CyberPanel, than many more. There are types of panels. Maybe you will continue to get videos here slowly, so we must subscribe to the channel. Making this AA panel video because it's very simple and very user-friendly and very easy to install, and it doesn't require any kind of payment. And it's very effective for a single hosting website. I'm making this video because many people ask me about this kind of questions asking me for solutions, so I am making this video to forward to them, so that they can easily perform such tasks themselves by watching this video. But to start the installation work, first we need to go to the main website of AA Panel. I'm trying to show you on the screen the website of the panel. Please check this address from the screen. You can go directly to this address. After that, you can see in the middle of the website, it is written here. You can start the installation by clicking on Free Install. Clicking on Free Install will take you to the next page. And there you can see that a code called Panel Installation Script is given. But instead of this code, we have to click on Detailed Installation Tutorials, from which we can process the installation as detailed by the operating system. Now on the screen that you see in front of you, you can see different types of codes according to the operating system or operating system. We will install that code inside our operating system. Here you can see the names of different types of Linux operating systems like Deepin, Ubuntu, and CentOS. Here you can see the usable codes according to different types of operating systems. So far we have the real work to do, that is, we have to create a virtual machine inside the Proxmox virtual environment. That's why we now come to the control panel of the Proxmox virtual environment. From here we will create a virtual machine using a container template. Here we can see many types of container templates. Basically, we will take a container template for Ubuntu Linux. I have downloaded it. If you have not downloaded it, you can download it from here. I have already downloaded it because it takes less time. Now we will start creating a container template. Now I select the operating system as I need. You can see here, I have already downloaded the operating system I need. There is a button named CT on the top of my screen. Click Create CT Container. I will start making. Here first, you have to give a name for this container and then create a root password. To create root password, you have to give the password twice here. It must be more than six digits. Now the operating system file should be located here. I have selected Ubuntu 22 for me in this case. You can pick the addition as you need. Here you select the space according to how much space you need, since I am making a tutorial. I will do my work within a small space. Here a single core CPU is not needed more than enough for the job. Here RAM 1 GB is enough. I am taking a little more than 1 GB here. Here you need to assign an IP for your container. Since I use static network, I need to manually select the IP and then route that IP with real life or public IP if you want to bring it online to any domain. Our container creation is nearing the end. Now if you just click next and finish, our container will be created and then it will automatically power on. And after some configuration there, we can get our container ready to work. Now we'll get inside our container with the root password and start our installation. Viewers, we have logged into our virtual machine or container. Now we are going to run our script code here and see if the installation process is working correctly. Let's see. Since we are working for Linux Ubuntu machine, we copy the Ubuntu script and we paste it inside our virtual machine or container and run it on Enterprise. After running the script, I will be asked if I want to install the panel. Then I have to press a Y to say yes, I want to do it. Since I am installing it on local system, it will take some time to install because it will take some time depending on my internet speed and the configuration of the virtual machine I created and everything. So I am fast forwarding this time so you can have this. The video does not cause irritation.
You see, our installation is finished, and it took about 14 minutes for this installation on local system. And you can see here, two IP address and user ID and password are displayed here, which I will copy in a notepad. And later from here, I will log it. Let's try and see what happens. Here we will try to log in with user ID and password through the IP address that we got. Let us log in and see what happens. After login here, you'll be asked through a dialog box, which are the two options you will choose. And here will be instructions for some installation. If you want to go, you can do that too. It will do some basic updates after installation, so it will take some time to get you ready. So give it time till then. Viewers, you can see that we have successfully logged in with the user ID and password. That means our installation is successful and complete, and we can assume that we have done the installation properly. So from this, we can reach a place that we can show you the correct path, enabled how you can install this AA panel on localhost and in future, we will release some videos on this channel very soon about other settings of this panel. So don't forget to keep an eye on our channel.